Hello, my name is Michael Lanasa, and I'm a senior consultant and lead technical writer for Synergy Advisors. Today I'd like to show you how you can use Microsoft RMS integration with Microsoft OneDrive for Business to secure sensitive information stored in the cloud from unauthorized access and misuse. Microsoft RMS is a service hosted by Microsoft in the cloud that protects sensitive information from unauthorized use. Azure RMS is a standalone offering that can function with or without the Office 365 service. Unlike traditional protection methods, such as firewalls and ACLs, Microsoft RMS service protection is persistent. It remains with the information no matter where it goes or how it is transported. Content authors can determine both which users are authorized to access a certain piece of protected content and also what they are authorized to do with that content. For example, a content author might dictate that a certain group can open but cannot copy, edit, or print a sensitive document. RMS is also available as an on-premises or cross-premises offering. First, let's talk about how you can use RMS in a more basic scenario. I'll open up an Office document and protect it with RMS. Once the document is protected, only authorized users will be able to open it, and they will have their permissions restricted according to the permission policy set by the author. Unauthorized users will not be able to open the document. Now I've logged on as an authorized user who will be able to open this document. Notice the permission policy that appears, indicating that the file is protected. Also notice that I only have permission to view this document. I do not have permission to edit or print it. I'll click File, and we can see that the print option is unavailable. Okay, we've just looked at a manual process to protect sensitive documents. Now let's look at how we can automate this process with the RMS integration with OneDrive for Business. In this scenario, our user Chase wants to set up an RMS policy to automatically protect his sensitive documents stored in his OneDrive for Business library. Documents are uploaded in an unprotected format and stored in clear text to enable search and indexing. He will verify that the documents are protected and then invite a colleague to review a particular document which will be automatically protected against unauthorized access or misuse. Upon download, OneDrive works with RMS to verify the user is authorized to view the content and then to provide a protected version of the file to the recipient. The document remains protected across its lifecycle. Chase opens his OneDrive for Business document library using Internet Explorer and opens a few of the files. Notice that the files are not protected. Chase has also synchronized his li library to his laptop. Let's take a look at these files to verify that they are also not protected. Chase enjoys the convenience of being able to work on his files at any time from the office, on the road, or at home. However, for security reasons, his organization requires additional security be applied to sensitive information, whether that information is stored in the cloud or on premises. He decides to protect his library with RMS. As the admin of this library, he creates a name and description for his permission policy. If you are familiar with RMS integration with SharePoint and SharePoint Online, this will look familiar to you. Notice the different options that Chase can decide to select. In this case, I'll select an option which will require a user to re-authenticate every seven days to continue to access a file. This authentication will be transparent to Chase and those he wishes to share the file with. However, it will provide additional protection to these sensitive files. Now Chase returns to the document library to verify that the files are protected. First, let's open them in Internet Explorer and verify that they can open in Office Web Apps. Notice the banner here, indicating that the file is protected.
Now let's open the synced version on the local computer. Notice that this version of the file is also protected, indicated by that same banner. Chase returns to the Document Library Settings page to check the permissions on his document library. His colleague Leia needs to review a document that he has been working on, but Chase does not want to let Leia print or edit the document. He grants her read permissions on the document library. Leia navigates to Chase's library to view the file. She'll download the file to her local computer and open it. Notice that the document library is protected, indicated by the banner. She clicks View Permission and notice that she should be able to view the content but should not be able to print, edit, or copy the content. She clicks File and notice that the Print and Save options are unavailable. Okay, I've just shown you how you can use the RMS integration with OneDrive for Business to secure sensitive documents stored in your OneDrive libraries and sync to your local computer. For more information about RMS, please see our other videos at youtube.com slash Synergy Advisors. At Synergy Advisors, we design and deploy RMS architectures for enterprise-level customers. If you are interested in learning how RMS can help you solve your information protection needs, visit our website at synergyadvisors.biz. We also post a monthly newsletter filled with the latest updates across the Microsoft Identity and Security products. If you would like to sign up, please email us at info at synergyadvisors.biz. Thank you for watching, and I hope it was helpful.